Hi, this is Eric Martin from Board Game Geek. I'm here with Jeff Gagnier from Z-Man Games and Philosophia. We're looking at the battle at Kimball's Cascade by uh, Allers and Ole Tierlin. And this is a prototype, not finished, work in progress. So this is just to get the idea for the game. And hoping Jeff could tell us what that might be. And hopefully what I'll tell will make sense. Okay. Uh, I would describe Battle at Campbell's Cascade as a card scrolling game inspired by uh, old uh, shmups, shoot 'em ups uh, okay. such as Asteroid uh, Space Invaders, uh, Gradius, which is the vertical kind, but whatever. Okay. Um, and in the game, each player is uh, in charge of their own little spaceships, and these are actually uh, what we're going for. So they're not the final models, but uh, they're what they're going That's to right. look I like. I assume there'll be different colors and yes, all that sort of, of stuff. But yeah. So on your turn, uh, at first, there's a player order that's determined by cards. And so uh, play moves around a little bit. <clears throat> Once that's decided, every player gets their turn. And they're going to move around in the space field. So let's say I go here. So on your turn, you can move and fire. Okay. And at first, you start with a small little turn. So let's say I were to move here and then shoot. This guy only has one hit point. I destroy him. And then I look at the threat that's coming up. So I know the bullets that are heading towards me that it will have to deal with on the following turn. So those are the threat icons. And here I would have two threat that are adjacent. So those I have to take into consideration. And this one is firing in a straight line. Okay. And I guess it ignores the, the asteroid. So right. here, my threat marker would go up to three, which means that on my next turn, because you deal with threat always um, after your actions. So here on the first turn, first turn, I'm fine, I move, I fire, there's no threat, and then I have the threat. My okay. turn comes around, I start at three. For every move that you get to make, you reduce it. Okay. Whatever is not reduced is damage that you're going to suffer. Okay. And of of course, you know, nobody could stop another player from coming behind you and shooting you up. Okay. Um, at the end of each round, what's going to happen is that this line is going to disappear. This scrolls down. Oh, we're already facing a boss. Well, actually, there's only one final boss, but for the sake of this demonstration, I thought it'd be interesting. Okay. So. Through the game, you'll move through the stack, you'll move through waves of enemies, asteroids, tunnels, and things like that, and eventually reaching the final boss, of which there will be a, more than a few in the box. Okay. And the idea is to get the most points. You'll get points by doing various uh, space adventuring stuff. Um, also, there are missions, uh, fire on the steroids four time, things like that. There are achievements. Okay. which are very popular nowadays. So spend at least five balonium. That's the currency used in the game. <laughs> yes, it does sound a little like baloney, but whatever. Yes. Be the first player to uh, leave the game. I think that's actually out, so oops. Uh, get destroyed, because when you get destroyed, of course, you can come back. Okay. Uh, that's part of the game, and you get power-ups to uh, increase your weapons. You can get other weapons and, and things like that. So that's the gist of the game. Okay. All right. Well, thanks very much for the overview. Um, any expected release date, or is it just um, this is something so we're so far? There's showing. two things. So uh, we're we're aiming at a Gen Con release, okay. hopefully. But there's a production thing that we'd like to get, which would be uh, like little slips of plastic on which we could put the cards to make the whole scrolling thing a little easier. Right. But uh, right now, so it's still in the development process of, of dealing with these things. Okay. Along with design, finished design chips and. Uh, make an exactly. actual but box. Visually, we're pretty satisfied with uh, where the game is going, and hopefully, it will uh, appeal to those uh, gamers that, that played the, these old arcade games. Uh, and also, newer gamers that are just interested in, a, I'd say, a new type That's of game. Right. What my dad play? Uh, oh, it looks just like this. All right. Thanks for the overview, Jeff. No problem.